hey i'm back <laughs> it has been months it has been months where have i been busy struggling trying to hold myself together i put on a cake ton of makeup i was gonna do updates and i'll still do updates but i wanted to do like favorites videos because i just i don't know it's feeling kind of girly today so i'm gonna update you all as i show you all of some of my favorite things that i've recently just been loving and i'll tell you why so update i have been losing weight thank goodness uh i decided to just start counting calories that's how i lost the first hundred and 25 pounds so why i couldn't lose the other 25 pounds not counting cal calories i don't my brain wasn't computing so i've been counting calories i'm not going to tell you how many calories i count you can go on like calorie calculator and there's like is everything okay I'm really testing my patience you can go on calorie calculator and like pick a goal like how much weight you want to lose by when and they'll tell you that's what i'm doing so i have a certain amount that i want to lose by december one of my favorites is this impossible low carb pasta it's only 100 calories for like basically a big pot of pasta um well 55 for one serving i i eat more than one so i <laughs> i eat two and it's like almost basically half this bag and it's a nice big bowl i like it it's uh way too expensive i get it off of bariatricpal.com wait till it's on sale so my birthday came i just turned 30 and i got some gifts this first gift ah, it's the uh 26 coach pillow tabby from coach I made my parents buy it because I was like, they never really buy me much. And I was like, it's, I'm turning 30. You guys need to buy me a gift. So I just couldn't pull the trigger on this myself, even though it's been on sale so many times. I sent it to him when it was on sale. So I'm, you know, not a bad daughter. But I absolutely love this purse. My pads are in there. Hold on. Nobody wants to see my pads. Okay, let's get that out of there. Um, so soft, so supple. I can fit my lunch in here. Like if I make a sandwich and some carrots and like a, a, a little thing of popcorn that I'm gonna pop later, I can fit it all in here just fine with my phone, my keys and my wallet. So it's roomy, she's cute. It is, I call it big bitch approved. And like, it. you know what I'm saying? It's not, I can't do the mini. I think it's like a, at 18, I need the 26, okay? So I don't know what 26 means, I don't know if it's 26 inches. This can't be 26 inches. It's the, it's the largest one and it's in the red. Throw it on with like anything if I'm just wearing black. I love her, oh my gosh, okay. For my 30th as, as well, I made my coworkers, well my department buy me a gift. We always get each other's gifts and like, I'm like the better person who's like, okay, what kind of gift we should get so and so? And I'm like, get her this, 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 and this. But my team, like I adore them, but I don't trust them with giving me the gift. So I told them, I gave them options, right? So they felt like they were choosing, but I told them the gift that I wanted. So they gifted me this Brandon Blackwood. This is a newer designer. Um, he's kind of been like growing on social media. He started off as like one, another like affordable black owned designer. And he just has all these, he has like a ton of cool bags. And they're pretty affordable. I think this was like 170. And again, another shoulder moan moment. I don't have on a bra, so please forgive me. This one isn't as big bitch approved, uh, but it's still very cute. Very simple. Again, I can fit my lunch in it. I do need to be able to take my lunch in purses so I don't have a ton of mini purses. And I've been, I haven't been carrying a tote because I have a work computer that I leave at work and then I have a, work, a computer that I have at home. So I don't travel with computer, but it's perfect. It has this kind of like cowhide moment and I don't have any brown purses minus that like little tiger print. Well, okay, and that brown. You get what I'm trying to say. I don't have any chocolate brown purses, okay? I want to dedicate this video to Jessica. I hope that's your name, girl. Jessica or Vanessa. I believe it's Jessica. I met her at the Sephora while I was out shopping, and I'll show you some of the things that I bought with her. She was so sweet, and I was like, oh my goodness. She was like, oh, I'm a fan. I'm like, oh, that's really nice. I That inspired me to film. I'm like, okay, you need to get your shit together and, like, film. So I just turned 30. I treated myself to a few things. I'm excited to be 30. Like, honestly, I was, like, I was ready to be 30. I was, I was like, the 20s have been they've been 20 and it's been a mess i feel like my 30s i feel like intentionally happy like everything that i do is for a purpose and everything i mess up for is for a purpose and everything has a lesson and it doesn't always feel like the end of the world right so i'm excited to be 30. one of the things that i bought when i met jessica god a girl i hope that is your name i hope your name is jessica <laughs> was this uh fenty beauty blurring skin tint i'm a skin tint kind of ch chick and i bought this i bought i'm not from new york this is in the number 18, Eavesdrop. I really like this. I used to only wear the Sephora skin tint and I went there and they didn't have it. So I was like, all right, I'll just get another skin tint. Cause I'm honestly terrified to buy a foundation. Like 
Number one, it ta it's taken me a long time to deal with my skin issues as a kid and like accept the fact that I have hyperpigmentation. So like a skin tint makes me feel like polished, like I'm wearing makeup, but I'm not like hiding the truth. Like you can still see that I have quite a few imperfections in my skin, but I still feel like cute, girly and like got on a lot of makeup. So I actually really like this. I like this better than the, the Sephora. I don't know how to describe it. It just melts into the skin. Right now it's melting into, into the skin because I'm extremely hot but it melted into the skin. Um, it was hard to pick a shade because there was a lot of good shades. But I hope I picked the right shade of foundation. Y'all let me know, do I look like I'm wearing the right shade of foundation? I do want to try a full coverage foundation because I've never done that before. So if you guys know of one that's like not matte, not dewy, and that's like beginner friendly, please comment below. I would like to buy one. I'm kind of nervous. Even if it's, I, it has to be in Sephora also because I'm, I'm not a drugstore girl. I need to be able to swatch things. But yeah, I really, I really like this. And I'm not even like a Fenty, freak really like i just really like it another thing i got when i was visiting sephora and i ran into jessica uh was this huda beauty faux concealer this is like one of my first professional concealers i've ever bought i originally bought this one from kiss and they almost look like the same color but this one's much darker i mean much brighter and yellow and i looked absolutely silly i put this on i really like it i don't know i'm a simple girl i don't know <laughs> i'm not as like picky with skin products as I as I should be probably compared to like eye makeup um but I bought it so far it's working and I like it and it it blends out really nicely and I don't really know if I'm wearing the, again this the right color concealer I just tried to get something that matched my skin tone because I don't really know if I like the super bright under eye look and I'm about to go into fall and winter and I turn really gray so I'm hoping I can use both of those products for a little bit before things start going downhill okay another makeup thing that I've been loving is from Uma Beauty I was given this for free a while ago I have friends that work in beauty and like they were sending stuff around and I got to get something and I got the number three I, I did not pick this out this was given to me um I, I the number three double take sculpt strobe duo stick bronze venus okay y'all got a lot of names going on but this is the contour side it works like i don't have it on today but i can plop it all over my face and blend it out and i feel like i looks it looks pretty nice and it blends really beautifully and you can use either your hands or a brush i typically use a brush again i'm not a contour i'm not a, i'm not a complexion girl i like i like lipsticks and i'm in like eye makeup so me and the complex so you might see me in person and be like girl get help help yourself get yourself some help but to me i thought it looked you know pretty nice and natural and then i also have been loving on this concealer it's a little lighter than this in real life but this concealer is so creamy i have this highlighter sorry i hope i didn't call it concealer you can blend it in and it just like i don't know i was never a highlighter girl but i've been liking the really blinding highlight mm. right now i'm testing out an orange blush maybe i'll do an update in a couple of weeks see how i like that and then another thing i've been loving oh i hope i can pronounce this right this is called choco musk I literally got this off of Amazon. I saw it on TikTok. A girl was saying, get it, it's only 20 bucks. It is a gourmand. I don't know, I don't know anything about perfume, but I do know that I like sweet, warm scents. That's just what works for me. I can appreciate a musk. I can appreciate an amber. I can appreciate super clean and floral, but sweet, warm scents work. And this basically just smells like chocolate. Every time I wear this, one of my coworkers is like, you smell like cookies. Or she's like, who's eating chocolate cake? This comes with a rollerball and it was only 20 bucks and it shipped really quickly. Don't really love the rollerball. This is from Owl Rehab. I'll link everything below. I don't make any money. I'm not signing up for no affiliate links. I'm too lazy for that. And then, I don't know if I did 10, did I do two, one, da 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 da, da 10? No, maybe, oh, found it. These earrings, these bamboo earrings. I used to have a different pair um, and then I lost them and then I tried to rebuy them and I bought the wrong ones, which are these. And there are these bamboo earrings. I hope you all can see. I gotta do the old school way. I hope that's focusing, guys. I hope it's focusing. I got these from Nordstrom Rack for like $20, $30. Me and Nordstrom Rack, that's like me like stepping into adulthood. Like I was never a Macy's girl. Um, so Nordstrom Rack makes me feel, you know, like I'm becoming middle class. Really like these. And then I have one more thing I need to show you. One second, wait right there. I'm like not wearing pants, so just, just like we're, I'm struggling. But this is a treadmill. This is a mini treadmill. But I made my parents buy this too, okay? Um, this is all pink. Let me see if I can do like a, I'll do like a full body shot of her. I'm like so dumb. Like I don't even know how to show this. But I love this. It was like, I love this. It was like $250, $300. They aren't cheap. 
but I was really wanting like a I was wanting a walking desk, but I'm also just like a jitterbug. So it is nice for me to be able to have something to walk on when I'm pacing back and forth. It goes up to six speed. You get a really good workout on this, especially watching a movie. Highly recommend, even if you don't get this kind, because I don't know how this compares to other things, but it is big, it's large, it's in charge. It's about 70 pounds, uh, so it's not small, but it can fit under a um, couch or a bed. Get it. Oh my God, I'm like sweating. Okay, the last like favorite thing that I love is this sweatsuit, okay? Get into it. Don't worry about the, the diva den. This is the diva, y'all are in the diva den. But like, come on, like come, you, listen, you need to get it. It's $15 on AliExpress, maybe 20 plus shipping, but you gotta get it. I, am I turning into a fashion influencer? Maybe, but like, I don't care what size you are, if you're plus size, if you're smaller than me, if you're big, you gotta get it. This has me so snatched and sucked in. The only thing I have on is underwear. Not, I don't. I know I'm giving a lot of TMI, but I'm, I wasn't gonna do all that work. S snatched me in. I, again, I'm six feet tall, so it's tall girl friendly. Let me see if I can show. Shit. You see, I'm not like flooding, right? I'm not flooding. My like dreams of being a fashion influencer is not is not gonna happen. If you don't su support AliExpress, get this is a dupe from uh, Peachy Den. It's a UK brand, and they sell theirs for like one hundred and fifteen dollars. Not saying it's not worth it, but for someone, this was like so out of the element for me. And you do need a little bit of confidence to walk out of the house, okay? Because even in New York city where everyone like wears whatever they want I definitely got a few stairs in this but then I was like I look amazing like I look amazing I'm about to buy two more because the fall I'm gonna be dre like this with a fur with a old nasty fur in the fall in a boot amazing a lot of girls wear these to like festivals they'll throw on the shoe I will say when you gotta use the bathroom you will be butt naked okay it is a jumpsuit but like come on Tall girl friendly, get it. Clearly the 30s, my 30s have me like struggling. I just need to put on all my things. I also love these glasses. These are from Shein. I'll link these below too. But these are a few of my favorite things, okay? The 30s, my 30s have me like sweating with a burst of energy randomly. But yeah, these are all my favorite things. There's been some updates. To be honest, I haven't been doing great. Okay, I haven't been doing great. And I just didn't wanna come here with another downer of a video because I don't really have anything motivational to help me get through me not doing great so give me a couple of weeks to get myself together then i can come back and reflect on what i'm going through now and how i got to a better place because i'm always gonna get to a better place with god in hand with mine what i got in hand okay those are all my favorite things i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i haven't done anything like girly like this i usually just sit here and talk but i have fun thank you guys so much for watching thank you for sticking around and comment below any of your favorites from my favorite things and if you have any of the similar items I have or if you're going to try out anything. I appreciate you all. Love you all. Happy fall.